Hi, Gary here. You know, when I was a kid, once in a while, I'd come home with some test score like at 50%, and of course, my parents were not very happy. But I have to say to you, if you apply 50% to the real world, it's a much different result. And this is what I mean. This is my 50% rule, because I get asked this a lot. How do I save more money or pay down more debt? And I basically say, look, the next time you get a pay raise, take half of it and save it, or pay down debt, or both. So, for instance, if you were at $3,000 a month net income, and you go to $3,500 a month net income, take 250 of that and save it, or pay down debt. Now, I'm gonna say to you, probably a good 150 or more of that will probably go to taxes, you know, federal and state, and um, Social Security, and Medicare taxes, and so forth, and there's probably gonna be still a little bit left over. Maybe it's $50 or whatever. And so you can do something more to enjoy life or expand out the things you're doing. But if you hold yourself to that 50%, you'll never know it's gone because the net result is the next month you have a little bit more money, not a lot more money, and you only soak that up rather than a big amount. And you know how it is. Once you let that come into your uh, checking account or however you do your money, uh, it'll, get, it'll, it'll just be eaten up with just kind of frivolous stuff that you do. So it's important each time you get a raise or income increases for some reason is to take 50% of that gross amount, set it aside to save or to spend, and it will make a world of difference and you'll really be growing your wealth successfully much more quickly over time. I think that's what it's all about. So until next time, enjoy.